the bacteria which does not follow the conscious postulates. What is our simple rule? If mycobacteria is among options, what is the answer? Mycobacteria is the answer, right? It does not need any intelligence, spinal cord level. Then what is non-competitive and competitive inhibition? What is the difference between the two? It's a favorite question of the examiner. Competitive inhibitor have, if you use Vmax doesn't change, but KM changes. Non-competitive inhibition, typically same KM will be there, but a different Vmax will be there. That is the fundamental difference between the two is what you have to basically remember. APPG is asking a question, sir, is it not rickets here? Not at all. Mycobacteria are the classical example of the exception for, uh, he is asking bacteria, right? What is bacteria in this? What is bacteria in this? Huh? That is important. Then doctor, the cofactor which is required for the alcohol dehydrogenase, zinc, all vitamins, coenzymes, cofactors, you are expected to answer in the exam hall with cardiac equina. Desmoid tumor, desmoid tumor requires surgical resection. This is a very well known factor fundamentally. And uh, the primary modality of the treatment is surgery and they have got fibroblastic cells with abundant mitosis as all of you know very well. Then pyoderma gangrenosum in inflammatory bubble disease. It is a very, very, very well known factor. Even if uh, you do proctocolectomy and remove the inflamed inflammatory bubble disease, you are not changing the systemic inflammation which is there in their body which is responsible for the pyoderma gangrenism in the skin. That is the reason even if you do proctocolectomy also, pyoderma gangrenism can still happen in the case of the ulcerative colitis. It is a, oh, hundreds of times we discuss this in our mock test. So, no big deal. What is the definition of secondary PPH? Bleeding 24 hours to 12 weeks after the delivery is basically called secondary PPH. Primary biliary cirrhosis. Actually, the correct answer must be B. Alkaline phosphatase is more elevated than AST and ALT. Otherwise, the median age is 50 years is true. Can you please close that door? <clears throat> it has a strong female predominance. Anti-mitochondrial antibodies are positive. Many times we discussed primary biliary cirrhosis in our mock test. Then doctor, okay, I will tell you what is the question going to come in the next APPG on primary biliary cirrhosis, paper out. Fatigue is the first reported symptom, favorite question of the examiner. So, do not forget. Then ARDS doctor. Spinal cord level question. There are no mucus plugs in the bronchioles. There are hyaline membranes, interstitial inflammatory infiltrates, interstitial edema. They are all true statements. The antiemetic in cancer chemotherapy, dronabinol, is a question 1980s onwards they are asking. Jab aapke dade, pardade, unke jamane wale question hai ho. Huh? If you do not don't answer, your ancestors will be unhappy. Right? Then, what is the anticoagulant effect of warfarin? Where is it reduced? Typically in the nephrotic syndrome because it is a protein bound drug and protein loss in nephrotic syndrome in turn will have an effect on the uh, warfarin's uh, anticoagulant effect. <coughs> A 4 year old male child presents with fever, anemia, azotemia with dysentery. Fever, azotemia, anemia with dysentery means what is the syndrome? Come on doctor. Hemolytic uremic syndrome. Give it a break. Huh? Right? Hemolytic uremic syndrome, thrombotic, thrombocytopenic, purpura. How many times we discussed doctor? Thousands of times we discussed in our mock tests. 
no way you can answer wrong. It is typically E. coli O157 strain is what you have to basically remember. <coughs> 20 year old with back pain in the dorsal spine region relieved by salicylate. What is that? Osteoid osteoma. What is our general rule? Orthopedics means without a question on bone tumor, paper nahi hoga, nahi hoga, nahi hoga. So this is this time it is osteoid osteoma. So where do you see in osteoid osteoma, the zone of sclerosis, typically in the pedicle. Pedicle is there, no, in the spine. So pedicle is the place where you find that uh, sclerotic nidus is what you have to basically remember. Hot tub lung is basically a hypersensitivity pneumonitis which is caused by mycobacterium avium complex. One more simple rule, if mycobacterium is in the options, Mycobacterium is the answer, is the general rule. If fluoxetine is in options, fluoxetine is the answer. Lithium is in answers, lithium is the answer. Amidron is in the answers, amidron is the answer. Okay, doctor. Utta pakka hai standard topics. Then, bleeding from the ear. You can see it in glomer jugular, middle ear, trauma to the ear. CSOMA, you will get pus, why will you get blood death? अरे बाप रे ये कोई क्वेश्चन है क्या पूछने वाला क्वेश्चन है क्या आंसर करने वाले के लिए दिमाग का जरूरत है क्या है नहीं है सो यू मस्ट बी एग्रेसिव इन एग्जाम हॉल इट्स माय एग्जाम इट इज माय विनिंग इट इज माय टाइम मेरा नंबर आ गया दैट इज व्हाट द अप्रोच यू शुड गो इफ ऑल माय फ्रेंड्स गेट ए टाइफाइड एंड डेलीरियम आई विल देन गेट द सीट ओ गॉड लाइक दैट यू शुड नॉट प्रे राइट must be aggressive when you go to exam. That confidence you will gain if you reviewed 650 topics, at least half of them, 300 topics in the descending order of priority in the topic list given to you. More than enough, happily you will answer 100 out of 100. 34, 35 questions also you will finish answering. Remaining 42, Bhagavan ko chodidu. Same style will be there in every exam you go. 42 or 50 questions don't need preparation at all. In the case of the APPG entrance, it is much worse. 50 questions don't need preparation. For the same situation. Hai. Right? So, biochemical alterations due to alcohol. What is except? Obviously, alcohol will affect the gluconeogenesis by decreasing its rate, not increasing the rate. The reason hypoglycemic attacks are more common in alcoholics is what you have to basically remember. And alcohol consumption lead to increased NADH production. So, what will alcohol dehydrogenase will do? Convert alcohol into acetaldehyde. What will aldehyde dehydrogenase will do? Convert acetaldehyde into acetic acid. That is what you need to basically remember. Tumor markers, doctor, you take out the pathology topic list given to you. Fifth or sixth favorite high yield topic list is tumor markers. Without that, there is no paper. Aapke paas, kiske paas topic list nahi hai? Kiske paas topic list nahi hai kya? Aapke paas hai na? Sixth high yield topic in pathology is tumor markers. Uske bina paper nahi hota. For the reason, in the topic list given to you on each subject, in that 650 topic list, 60 60 topics we gave in physiology, pharmacology, pathology. Top 20 padke jau. Man laga ke padke jau. Definitely you will get seat. Okay. This is a classical example. I will once more show you. Next week we have got uh, Maharashtra State PG. We will give it like a question paper to you. You solve it like a question paper, we will have a discussion. Usme me my ehi calculation dikhanga. How will it come in the same proportion? So that is the reason 625 topics hardly require how much? Clavum 625 mg, no doctor. You remember 625 topics, uh, 15 minutes each. 150 hours is enough doctor. 625 khatam ho jayata. Our ek second wash mar ne ke liye another 50. 200 gante mein khatam karna preparation. Matlab, roh 6 gante padhe toh, 30 days are enough. First revision, second revision market chod dene ke liye. 
उसके लिए लॉन्ग टर्म कोर्स शॉर्ट टर्म कोर्स क्रैश कोर्स इतने कोर्सेस का जरूरत नहीं है ओनली वन एकेडमिक इंटर कोर्स 200 आवर्स यू शुड बी डिटरमाइंड टू रीड द हाईल टॉपिक्स रिमेंबर यूर ओन मेथड ऑफ रिमेंबरिंग and answering it reflexly that is the sign of a topper obviously we know that tumor markers have a very poor sensitivity anything that has a poor sensitivity cannot be used as a screening test that's the reason it cannot be recommended as a screening test is what you have to basically remember ttp is associated with what it is the adam st13 is the one what is adam st13 you know the platelets are there right there is a von willi brand factor there is a gp one b receptor on the platelet if the adam st13 is there s1 ts13 sorry adam ts13 then that will prevent one platelet to stick to the other but if the adam ts13 is not there then one platelet and other platelet to the von willi brand factor become stuck to each other and that lead to microvascular thrombosis which is the underlying pathophysiology of the uh pathophysiology of ttp is what need to be prepared what is the favorite question of ttp by the examiner how is pt aptt in ttp normal pt aptt why this is important clots which are forming are rich in platelets they do not have clotting factors inside them okay so that is the reason what will happen if the clotting factors are the part of the clot then pt aptt become prolonged because of the conjunctive coagulopathy but if the clot is rich in only platelets without clotting factors pt aptt is normal otherwise dic may be real failure hota azt may rehta ttp may be as a team here right dic also will lead to hemolysis leading to anemia ttp also lead to hemolysis with anemia but ttp has a normal pt aptt whereas dic has got a prolonged pt aptt which is a fundamental difference favorite question one more favorite question kya hai hereditary sclerosis may स्ट्रेस पॉजिटिव होता या नेगेटिव होता कमान डॉक्टर यूल रिमेंबर मीन एग्जाम हॉल टुमारो हेरिडरी सिरोसाइटोसिस में इट इज ए हिमोलाइटिक एनीमिया कोम स्ट्रेस नेगेटिव होता या पॉजिटिव होता नेगेटिव होता बिकॉज देयर द हिमोलिसिस इज नॉट आटो एंटीबॉडी मीडिएटेड हिमोलिसिस आरबीसी विल बी पासिंग थ्रू स्पीन एंड स्प्लीन एंड स्प्लीन विल बी ब्रेकिंग इट डाउन बिकॉज ऑफ द सिरोसाइटिक appearance of it it is not due to auto antibody against the rbc hence coombs test is typically negative in hereditary sclerosis is what you have to basically remember the below video is uh, not uh, showing projection just check that button hole sign is present in neurofibroma typically in the neurofibroma it is soft and palpation and uh, whenever they are pushed deeper into the uh, underlying dermis they can be pushed deeper into the underlying dermis which is called button hole sign a mother of a child aged 4 months comes to phc and the child is having a respiratory of 60 with chest in drawing what is the classification according to imnci favorite uh, classification according to the color coding you have to decide the treatment definitely will be asked in once more the appg and tnpg if you did this wrong so any general danger signs are chest in drawing or strider is there you call it as severe pneumonia or very severe disease here what you have to do you give how to give the first dose of cortrimoxazole and refer immediately to hospital fast breathing is there you call pneumonia and you need to give cardiomyocytosis for 5 days and uh, uh, advise the mother to return immediately and uh, follow up in 2 days 
no signs of pneumonia or very severe disease then you call no pneumonia and call it as only cough or cold and accordingly you will treat so this protocol doctor two times same comment ke asked once more it will be asked in abpg tamil nadu pg maharashtra pg everywhere i am nci guidelines be ready huh actually what happens is all these examiners of various states will meet at conferences etc exchange the question banks is bar kiske bare mein questions puchna hai kis topics ke bare mein puche to acha lagta ye sab andar ki baat hai discussions bahut zyada chalta to isliye you should luckily last entrance february 28 is abbg so we will we will have a jammu kashmir pg entrance paper we will have a up pg we have students all the way from north america to south india so uh, we'll have a paper of maharashtra discussed tamil nadu pg discussed all papers we will discuss before we go to our actual entrance exam eh? so that's a point swinging flashlight test where will you do typically typically you will do it in relative afferent pupillary defect give me the board so what is swinging flashlight test what is the high yield topic in ophthalmology it is a neuro ophthalmology one question will come on visual pathway abnormalities or one of the pupils argel robertson versus horner versus addy versus afferent pupillary defect you must be very sure right so you have a retina 25th we have a ophthalmology class of last 15 years abpg ophthalmology question bank discussed by dr rajaratnam excellent teacher please do come uh, morning 9 to 7 we'll have a review of all the last 15 years uh, abpg uh, ophthal questions so from the retina the light is going to optic nerve from the optic nerve there is a chiasma then whenever it is passing through optic tract here it will come out it will go to what is called pretectal nucleus from pretectal it will go to edinger westfall nucleus on both the sides edinger westfall nucleus on both the sides then edinger westfall will go to ciliary ganglion from ciliary ganglion fibers will parasympathetic fibers will go and supply the sphincter pupillae so whenever you throw the light sphincter pupillae causes pupillary constriction same side and because the pretectal nucleus is also throwing fibers to opposite side ergel robertson uh, sorry edinger westfall the edinger westfall on the opposite side also go to ciliary ganglion and causes the other eye also to undergo pupillary constriction so this is called direct light reflex other is called consensual light reflex if you throw the light on this suppose if my retina is problematic or optic nerve is problematic or optic tract is problematic what will happen the light i am putting is unable to elicit a direct or even a consensual also doesn't happen क्योंकि लाइट अंदर ही नहीं जा रहे राइट सो आई मूव द टॉर्च लाइट टू द अदर आई देन दैट विल लीड टू प्यूपिक कॉन्स्ट्रिक्शन इन दिस आई बिकॉज दिस नॉर्मल आई सेम टाइम इट विल कॉज ए प्यूपिल कॉन्स्ट्रिक्शन ऑफ दिस आई विच इज एब नॉर्मल आई सो देखने वाले को कैसे लगता when i throw light it is not constricting when i am moving light on to the other side it is constricting it looks like a lazy light reflex actually lazy hai kya wo nahi it is not lazy it is after moving the light to the other eye why it is constricting because of the consensual light reflex from the normal eye right so this is called swinging flashlight test it is done for what it is done for afferent pupillary defect afferent means retina 
ऑप्टिक नर्व एंड ऑप्टिक चश्मा में कुछ दिक्कत है क्या बोल के देखने के लिए वी डू दी स्विंगिंग फ्लैश लाइट टेस्ट इज वॉट यू हैव बेसिकली रिमेम्बर नाउ डॉक्टर या बिटन इज सेइंग दैट नॉट ओनली यू हैव स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम नॉर्थ अमेरिका टू साउथ इंडिया सर इन चाइना आल्सो या हॉरिजेंटली आल्सो वी आर एक्सपेंडेड वेरी वेल इन चाइना रशिया एवरीवेयर सो ए यंग पैरिस वुमेन केम टू द आउट पेशेंट डिपार्टमेंट फॉर पैप्सफियर पेनलेस इंजुरेटेड अल्सर इज देर and uh, not accompanied by inguinal lymph nodes dr war who are the four brahma vishnu maheshwar when it comes to dermatology and sexually transmitted diseases syphilis how can you forget syphilis lgv granuloma inguinal without that there is no paper right so please don't forget how to recognize one of the trimurtis syphilis classically is a painless injurated ulcer is what need to be remembered artificial bruise versus uh two bruises how do you differentiate presence of dark brown color is artificial bruise irregular shape is artificial bruise then itching is present in artificial bruise vesicles are a feature of artificial bruise differences between the two kinds of bruises is like a uh, routine thing in uh, forensic medicine many times hundreds of times this was asked in the previous question mark right so spinal cord level mein answer karna ghar jaate hi poisonous non poisonous snake how to recognize whose tail is flat whose tail is not flat you have to right otherwise exam hall mein saap ko dikha ke aapko puchega bharat hota hai saap pakadne wale ki desh that's what narendra modi said to americans huh eh? once upon a time it is called saap pakadne wala desh uh, but today they are software देने वाला देश हो गया ऑल सॉफ्टवेयर इज रिटर्न बाई इंडियंस एंड यूज बाई वर्ल्ड राइट सो दैट इज वॉट यू नीड टू बेसिकली रिमेम्बर तो द बाइंडिंग ऑफ ग्लूकेगॉन ऑन टू द लिवर सेल मेम्ब्रेन वॉट विल इट बेसिकली लीड टू सी डॉक्टर ग्लाइकोजेनोलाइसिस ग्लाइकोजन सिंथेसिस ग्लाइकोलिसिस वॉट आर द रेगुलेटरी फैक्टर्स इज अ फेवरेट टॉपिक ऑफ एग्जामिनर so glycogen phosphorylase kinase is the one which is basically activated by the binding of the glucagon glucagon will go and bind and typically lead to cyclic amp formation cyclic amp will convert inactive cyclic amp dependent protein kinase a into protein kinase b that in turn will convert the inactive phosphorylase kinase into active phosphorylase kinase and that active phosphorylase typically will lead to development of glycogenolysis so glycogen synthesis degradation regulation is a favorite area in the top 20 topics given to you in biochemistry you have to read it scleritis is typically seen in case of rheumatoid arthritis no surprise about it then endoscopy was done to look for tb and how do you clean endoscopes 2% glutaraldehyde you have to clean the tumor marker elevated most frequently in the carcinoma of the gall bladder once more tumor marker favorite question ca99 which has a vasoconstricting property cocaine oh this has been asked pura agar ye question koi answer kare wrong kare to doctor still if you are crying that why i didn't get seat means no you not even aunt will show sympathy to you forget about aunt showing sympathy aunt also will feel अरे कोकेन मैसे कॉन्सेप्ट मुझे भी मालूम है तुझे मालूम नहीं है क्या पूछेगा एंट विल आस्क यू सो बी वेरी श्योर डॉक्टर सम क्वेश्चन आर सच्चे सॉलिड क्वेश्चन 
सो रेटिनोस्कोपी में क्या करते हैं आप वॉट विल डू डू इन रेटिनोस्कोपी टू डिटेक्ट द रिफ्रैक्टिव एरर बेसिकली विथ मोशन एगेनेस्ट मोशन हाउ द रिफ्लेक्स एमिटेड बाय द रेटिना इज मूविंग डिसाइड्स वेदर माइओपिया और हाइपर मेट्रोपिया एंड हाउ डू द नॉर्मल रिफ्लेक्स लुक लाइक ऑल दिस फंडा यू मस्ट नो यमारे इमेजेस आर बेसिकली ड्यू टू द डांसिंग डन बाई प्रोटॉन्स then dna repair mechanism disorders are attacks at elnet as a fancuri and bloom then a new screening test has been uh, uh, done on 520 people is the voice clear for our online students just uh, check whether uh, can you please punch we lost the power here is the voice clear if it is voice clear we will continue very good rathod anno is everyone saying voice is clear okay i we i won't be visible but voice will be clear yeah a new screening test is done actually ye thoda dimag istemal karne wala question hai 520 people 70 of them are known to have disease and the test was positive in 55 hour of those people who have the disease as well as 25 persons without disease what is the sensitivity specificity of the test same question will come tomorrow in the appg and all the exams doctor be very sure now test is positive in how many people 55 that means how many true positive 55 agree test is positive in 25 without the disease examiner only said without disease if test is positive what do you call false positive then people how many have disease 70 are having disease disease include what what categories both true positive and false negative are called diseased already you know true positives are 55 and total diseased are 70 so false negatives are how many 70 minus 55 is equal to 15 again eh? agree then people who do not have disease are how many total people are 520 70 have disease means how do many do not have disease 450 so who are included under the people who do not have disease false positive plus true negatives already we know that false positives are 25 given there by the examiner so 25 plus true negatives is equal to 450 So true negatives are 450 minus 25 is equal to 425. So what is the summary? True positives are 55, false positives are 25, false negatives are 15, true negatives are 425. If you know this, what is the sensitivity specificity? There are two simple formulas. If you know what is the value of TP, FN, FP, etc., etc. So just use the formula. Sensitivity is equal to what is sensitivity? True positive by true positive plus false negative. So 55 by 55 plus 15 into 100 is equal to 50 by 5 by 70 into 100 is equal to 78.57 percent. Similarly, specificity value comes 94.4 percent. So tomorrow's examiner can ask what is the positive predictive value. Similar kind of a question. What is the negative predictive accuracy? All these things examiner can ask. So be very sure on these formulas, doctor. but still i call this as a spinal cord level question because uh, uh, this is expected this is a ditto ditto same question which we had in the recent mock test nitrofurantoin highest risk of hemolysis of all the drugs is what you need to remember centriacin or emphysema is enlargement of what respiratory bronchioles is basically called centriacin is the alveoli damaged or the respiratory bronchial damage is one of the important determinant and deciding factor is what need to be remembered which of these things is not a cell wall synthesis inhibitor clindamycin vancomycin amoxicillin phosphomycin they are all basically what cell wall synthesis inhibitors is what need to be remembered Which fertility indicator shows denominator as mid-year female population 
who are in reproductive age group of 15 by 40 to 49? Thousands of times we told them. One question on GFR, TFR, net reproductive rate, NRR, without that there is no paper. Indicators of conception and contraception. 100% you should be sure. And that is the definition of general fertility rate. Hypothalamic nuclei are because of supraoptic and paraventricular nuclei. For how long can we survive in this lack of power, uh, Raju? One hour chalega? You have sufficient UPS, right? UP, uh, UPS. Yeah. Normal curve. <coughs> oh, Bhagwan ke ghar me der hai, magar andher nahi. Huh? So, light a gaya, roshni a gaya, aur hum ko bhi seat aane wala hai. Huh? So, only positive dream, doctor, that uh, that should be driving force for you next to 30 days. No one knows. No one knows suddenly how nicely you will answer 100 out of 100 out of these uh, spinal card questions. Right? Only when you close eyes and go to sleep, no, remember, 100 out of 100 are my 100 topics may aayega, which requires spinal cord. Right? 38 may suddenly my brain, all the wonderful clinical work I did will help me. 38 may 35 I will get. Anyway, 40, hamare haath mein nahi hai, iske baare mein, why to worry? Just to turn this side and put pillow and sleep. Uh, so, how you manage your uh, anxiety, anxiousness, they are all the essential factors next one month. Abhi ta kaccha chalaya gadi. Aurek mahine jara without unnecessary, all are unnecessary artificial feelings, tension, anxiety, I am having, uh, my heart rate is racing, hysterical features, nothing exists. If you prepared well, you will answer nicely, right? And it is not the only trauma you are suffering, everyone are the part of the game. Right? So, that is very important. So, what is normal curve? Mean, median and mode, all of them will basically coincide. Inhalational anesthetic oil gas partition coefficient is a very important determining factor of the potency. Doctor, my name, what do you say? Ek diabetes drug ke bina paper hoga kya? Classification padhi ke jao, ho jayega, come. What are GLP-1 agonists? What are uh, amylin analogs, etc. All the anti-diabetic uh, drugs doctor. Today only you should read if you didn't read. Types of insulin, what is the difference between Lispro insulin, what is protamine zinc insulin, what is glargin insulin, what is the half-life of each of them, everything. Diabetic drugs, aapke mutti mein rai na, exam ko gai rai, ja rai to. Ek gante time pa, time spend karo. So, exenatide, dulaglutide, liraglutide, they are all GLP-1, GLP-1 receptor, glucagon like peptide 1 receptor, agonist doctor, but not pramilinitide. Pramilinitide is a analog of amylin. Just like insulin, amylin is completely absent in the people who have type 1 diabetes is what you need to basically remember and uh, how does DPP4 inhibitors versus GLP1 agonists, what are the differences between the two, all these things we discussed in our DNB medicine topic wise discussion we did in the last 15 years papers. Usme Raita, ek bar video library mein jaake anatomy to medicine.com please try to review so exenatide lixazenatide semaglutide all glutides are all all tides for that matter are all the same class foramen spinosum one foramen they will ask maxillary nerve rotamax to the foramen rotundum right then middle meningeal artery Spinosum, MS general surgery. M is middle meningeal artery and S is spinosum. Some stupid way, but remember. Eh? Then carboprost, 
does not lead to diarrhea but hypertension bradycardia and pulmonary arterial vasoconstriction dyspnea cardiovascular collapse diarrhea etc etc diarrhea is also there among the side effects huh? oh my goodness diarrhea is also there no mm. this question to the review chahiye diarrhea also is included among the uh, side effects so please uh, review that uh, honey colored crust classically seen in impedigo chemoreceptors how do they stimulate respiration when our arterial pco2 increases more than 40 or oxygen falls below 60 millimeters mercury that's a stimulus for receptors patient who is on ATT typically has got a petechiae which is thomsidopenia thomsidopenia is a side effect of rifampicin so there is a glycoprotein on the platelets rifampicin goes and binds it causes a conformational change in the glycoprotein and that stimulates the drug dependent antibody and that will go and destroy the platelet it is autoimmune injury of the platelets which is initiated by the rifampicin is what you have to basically remember where do you see fish tailing fish tailing is a classical feature in stab wound is what you need to remember five year old is being brought with anti muscarinic drug anti muscarinic is atropine atropine typically lead to development of tachycardia organophosphorus lead to bradycardia Arre. simple question spinal cord level right who said paper is tough if anybody say paper is tough will give free coaching let me tell you huh? this is not a tough paper how can you say atropine causes tachycardia or bradycardia is it a tough paper come on doctor 100 questions skating skating karna this is explained with the three humors so it is in ayurveda vata pitta kapha what is vata vata is to mobilize the function of nervous system dimag ka chalu karna vata hota hai pitta is bilious humor kapha is basically mucus and lubrication so that is what ayurveda is based on the three humors right a comment came a two questions came from the first 30 pages what did gallen discovered what did ayurveda framed of so there are some simple questions hiv associated nephropathy is a collapsing focal segmental glomerulosclerosis what is our general rule doctor without glomerulonephritis there is no paper on the same forum thousands of times i told so you have to go back and read mpgn type 1 mpgn type 2 where will you see tram track what are the five causes of fsgs what are the 10 causes of membranous nephropathy everything you have to put a mixi mein dal ke glomerulonephritis topic ko fada fad sharbat nikalna so be very sure glomerulonephritis will definitely come